Hello folks, welcome to my demo module. We are here for me to tell you all about one of the most exciting announcements of the summer. If I go into the module information area of my little demo module, you will see that, da da, we are getting Blackboard Ally later in the summer. So what exactly is Blackboard Ally? Well, in order to answer that question, I think it's best if I jump into student preview mode and show you Ally in action. So I'm going to jump into student preview mode now and let's see what the students see when we have Ally. So if we go into the study materials area of this demo module, you can see to the right hand side of my lecture slides here, there's a little A. And what this allows me to do as a student is to download the lecture slides in my preferred format. That includes tagged PDF, which is an accessible PDF, which I can navigate with, for example, keyboard only navigation. I could have it as HTML for viewing in the web browser or on a mobile device. I could have it as EPUB, so if I like to adjust the text that I'm reading or perhaps use some of the screen reading tools on an iOS device, so that's an iPad or an iPhone, I might choose EPUB. I can have electronic braille, so that allows me to use an electronic braille device to then display that information. I could use audio, so I could have an MP3 version of the text that's sort of read out to me so I can listen to it. This could be useful for any kind of pur purpose, whether it's that I just don't have time right now to have a look at the slides, but I'd like to listen through them first, perhaps. I can use Beeline Reader, which is an online screen reading option. And I can also translate it to a different version, uh, a different language, I should say, than the original document. If I need to have a little bit of help with understanding the content, perhaps English isn't my first language. So if I click on download, that will download the document for me in an alternative format. So here's the PDF. Let's have a look at what that looks like. That looks really good. It has generated a really accurate summary of my original PowerPoint. Okay, let's see what the audio version comes out with. Okay, so try this again. So we click on alternative formats. Let's listen to what the audio version comes out as. Okay. So let's give it a listen with QuickTime Player on my computer here. Title. How to embed a YouTube video in Student Central. Image without alternative description. Begin heading level one. How to share a YouTube video in Student Central. So that's interesting. There is a little bit of a thing that's being flagged in the audio here that I didn't add alt text to my images in PowerPoint. So this is the other side of how Ally works, if we just close our audio there, because although it can convert the files that we have already uploaded, it also gives us some pointers to help improve the content that we already have so that it can give us even better results for downloading those alternative versions. I should also say that it's not only the students who can download alternative copies of these files, you can also download the alternative formats as well. So there's definitely um, some bonus uh, content there for you too. So let's come out of the student preview mode and have a look at what you see with your content when Ally is enabled. So, okay, so if we go back into study materials, now you can see in my view as an instructor that next to my document I have an indicator. And this indicator is like halfway across the sort of half moon shape, which indicates or tells us that it needs a little bit more work. It's not as accessible as it possibly could be. And just to explain these indicators, uh, we've got this helpful diagram that the folks at Edge Hill University created. Um, if it's on the sort of first pip in the indicator and it's red, that means it's low and the document needs a little help in order to be accessible. 
if it's midway along like my document then it's orange and that's on the second pip and that means it's you know pretty okay but as we found with the audio it was definitely not great in that format if it's high then it's really almost there so you can see that our pip is it's almost at the very final pip in the indicator and for purple it's absolutely perfect and it's maxing out our scale here I need to add that as we saw in the student preview mode they do not see the indicator so these indicators are just seen by you and they are to allow you to improve your document as soon as you are able so let's see what we need to do to improve our document and to do that we click on the little indicator itself and then it says what what this means for our 52% indicator here so it means that I didn't add that alt text and it actually gives me some clear descriptions about why I have been given that particular percentage in terms of how accessible this document is and it explains why it's important for me to add alt text to my images so what I need to do is it helpfully tells me where I've forgotten to go through and add alt text on all of these images and what I need to do is go back to the original PowerPoint and add alt text so if I quickly pause the video I will come back into PowerPoint and make these changes and then we'll see if we can fix this particular presentation. So I've spent some time editing my presentation and adding alternative text descriptions to my images. It's been helpful to keep Ally handy though in my web browser because it shows me the preview of all of the issues and it shows me how to actually add the descriptions as well. So if I click on how to add descriptions, it sort of gives me a list of the different versions of Office that I might have and it will take me through that. Just to give you an idea of what I was doing, I'm on the Mac version and what I did was do a right click and edit old text. This option is displayed differently in different versions of PowerPoint, so if you're on a Windows machine it will look a bit different. But if I put in here screenshot of student central module in the study materials folder. folder is an empty other than the stock text. There we go. Um, just a quick note, in the Mac version it has this option to mark things as decorative. Um, if you mark it as decorative that doesn't help Ally, um, you need to have a description in there. Or what you might find is that you have a slightly different version of your presentation that you upload than the one you use to teach live with, um, where you can put in descriptions for specific sort of visually instructive elements, um, where you might have some performative elements in your um, other copy of the presentation. So these are things that we tend to cover in accessibility sessions, but I thought that I would mention that. There's also a generate a description for me button, but it is very inaccurate, especially when it comes to screenshots. So it will usually say, this is a mobile phone screen. Perhaps if we du duplicate the slide, shall we see what happens if we uh, ask it to generate a description for us? <laughs> and I was right it's a screenshot of a mobile phone screen yeah so um, that doesn't work <laughs> right so we are happy with this very short presentation we're going to save it so I just saved that and uh, we are now ready to upload it so let me minimize PowerPoint here and then what we can do is come out of the instructions and we've got this helpful browse button so we can upload the replacement file and I have the revised version on the desktop here, so let me click on that and we'll see what the score comes out for this one. Perfect, brilliant. So let's find out how the audio sounds now that we have fixed our image problem. 
And don't worry if the new perfect little indicator doesn't come up right away. As you saw, it sort of has to reload there. Right, okay, so let's click on the ally button and download the audio and give it a listen. Title. How to embed a YouTube video in Student Central. Begin heading level one. How to share a YouTube video in Student Central. Begin heading level one. Search for the video on YouTube. Begin image with description. Screenshot showing the search bar at the top of the YouTube website. The cursor is next to the search box and the words aseptic technique are typed in the box. End image. Begin heading level one. At the video, scroll down to the share button. So we won't play all the way through it, but I could suddenly understand what the person was talking about and what they were referring to because the images that were so instructive in the PowerPoint itself were also described. So that's already much, much more helpful. And this was a very short demo and intro into what Ally is, how it can help us, and I hope you are as excited about it as we are. Thanks for watching.